so funny is I'm so open about my life on the internet, but at the same time, I'm not, right? Like, I'm also a very private person, and I tend to, like, hold myself back on, like, things that I want to share with the world until, like, some time has passed, right? So I want to touch on my relationship that I'm in currently right now because it's been a couple of months and you know like I'm sure y'all see like my little day in the life videos and stuff on TikTok and my little vlogs of like us going on dates and stuff but I you know what this is really I think this is really the first time in my life that I've ever like openly wanted to share how it's going like on the internet right because I was in a relationship before too like even after my divorce and I never like I never posted any videos of us and I never like talked about how things were going like I would talk about it in my lives and stuff sometimes but and that whole thing was such <laughs> a complete disaster. Like, oh, we just, we have totally, we forget that. We don't talk about that person. That whole thing just does not exist, right? But I, you know what, though? This is, this is the first time that I'm really like, man, this is really, really great. And it really, you know what? I was so scared to date after I got divorced. Because there was, like, a huge part of me, actually, that was, like, you know what? I, I totally give up on dating. It's not going to happen for me. I'm just meant to be alone. Like, there's no one on this planet that's going to want to date me, right? Like, a, a lot of baggage, right? Like, a, a bad divorce. I have three kids. My kids are special needs on top of that, which is perfectly perfect for me. But I can see that being a lot on another person, you know? And just like my life is so chaotic I work on the internet I like there's so much going on right that I'm like I really came to the conclusion that I was like I'm just gonna be alone and that's okay because you know what I like being alone I don't need anybody else I'm perfectly happy just by myself and then you know this I'm I'm dating though and I'm just like he he blows me away every single day like this is the first time in my life that I'm dating somebody who is exactly who he says he is. He is dependable, reliable, fucking hilarious. Excuse me. Very handsome. Just check marks across the board. Not one single red flag. And my level of comfort with him is like, I'm extreme, right? Like I'm so comfortable with this person. And for the first time in my life with another human being, I, when I'm around him, I feel like I'm home, right? Like, and that is the best feeling. I can be a million percent myself around him and nothing I do bothers him. He doesn't look at me crazy. If I'm going out in public and doing some crazy ass thing, you know, he doesn't like, he's not judging me. He fully supports everything that I want to do and just who I am as a person and shows me tells me but shows me every single day how much he cares about me and how much he loves me that is such a breath of fresh air like it's new for me right like y'all me and relationships we're not besties <laughs> i always tell people like when they come into my life they'll ask me for like relationship advice and stuff and i'm like they're probably not the best person to ask right because like my history of relationships is not ideal it's not like it's been <laughs> it's been so bad every single time you know like i would just sit around and just like wait for shit to hit the fan because it inevitably always did right and i want to tell you there's like a little saying that i've always said about myself which is kind of it's kind of sad but i would always say and this is genuinely how i've always felt was that <laughs> it's, like a, it's i'm sorry it's gonna sound like a weird analogy but i'm like i am i always felt like i'm a bridge for people where you know you have a person that comes to this like raging river and they have to get across and there i am a bridge to help them cross over right and i'm a beautiful bridge a memorable one very important to their life right like i help them over i help people overcome things i help them cross over to the other side but nobody builds a house on a bridge and nobody plans to stay on a bridge forever you cross over right you make it to the other side and me as the bridge i'm always sad when it crosses over but you know then somebody else comes along and cycle the cycle continues the cycle continues the cycle. i never felt like i've never felt like i was really good enough you know for somebody else which is really sad to say 
But you know, I, I don't feel that way now. I don't feel like I'm a bridge anymore. I feel like I've completed that part of my life. And yeah, I don't know. I don't even know why I'm telling you all this. I guess I'm just very happy, you know? <laughs> and cheers to me not being anybody else's bridge anymore, right? And you're not a bridge either, by the way. You deserve to not be other people's bridge.